The year was 2003. It was the Australian Open semi-final championship. On one side, we had Serena Williams, who was the first time appearance in the Australian Open semi-finals. And on the other hand, we had Kim Clisters, the Belgian tennis superstar. Anyone who was watching the match knows that Serena Williams was struggling. She was about to lose when she saved that one point and then won the match and then won match after match after match. It shows that winning that point in that game against Kim Clisters was not just a stroke of luck or something more. Or what was it? Let us understand in this video right now. You see, sports scientists and especially Professor Joan Vickers from the Calgary University have been studying this phenomena not across just tennis or Serena Williams in particular, but across many superstar athletes and this phenomena is called the quiet eye. What is the quiet eye all about? Let us go back to that match in which Serena Williams was facing Kim Clisters. Imagine the distraction. The people are around, their cameras, the crowd is chanting, and Kim Clisters is making that serve. Williams at that point has a thousand and one distractions, but she is focused on that ball. Her gaze is so strong that everything else except the ball has become blurred. And because she's focusing on that ball so intently, as the ball is coming towards her, relatively, it has slowed down because she's focusing on nothing but the ball. You see, when we are trying to focus on something, we are just trying to focus on that one thing. But what we miss out on is something else which is very important. I'm a poor photographer. One of my friends is a really good photographer. And so when he was clicking my picture, it looked great. And when I was clicking his picture, it looked okay. I asked him, why is it that your pictures are great and my pictures are good? He said, Mudit, have a look. You are focusing on the subject, but you are not blurring the background. What I do is I narrow and make my aperture more specific so that I focus only on the subject and blur the background. And so while you are focusing on something and while that is important, you need to learn to defocus on everything else. So when you're doing that work which requires your intense focus, what is it that is distracting you? Is it your mobile phone? Is it the emails? What is going on that is taking your attention away? You need to make sure that all of those things are not in a one hand distance from you. You need to get up and access those distractions that will minimize the distractions that you are having. And that is how you can apply the quiet eye principle in your own life. If you enjoyed this and want to know more, read my book, Be Invincible. I have dropped a link in the comments. And if you like this video, share it with somebody and subscribe and let me know what you liked about it.